Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another good tutorial by Rex Free. Let's start by getting this out of the way here. Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to go over a really quick thing here in uh, GameMaker 8. Um, and that is importing and exporting resources. Alright, so basically in GameMaker 7, uh, there was something called, um, oh, I forgot what it was. It was basically merging, merging, that's what it was called. Uh, that's what it was called. Uh, merging games. And basically what you could do is, uh, you had a game and uh, you could basically import another game, or merge rather, as Game Maker 7 called it, um, another game file into that game. And uh, basically, so you'd have like uh, two games in one game. So if you had like maybe, um, um, I don't know, like uh, some sprites you wanted, or um, a really, like basically a player or something, or a character, or whatever, um, in one game, uh, you could merge it with your current game and um, basically you wouldn't have to recreate it all over again. You'd already have it in, in that game. So uh, basically in GameMaker 8 there's uh, importing and exporting resources and basically they've um, subtracted out merging for, for those two uh, options there. And let me go ahead and show you what they uh, basically what they do. Alright, so um, they're pretty much the same as um, merging your game um, but they are a little different and actually a little more helpful. And let me go ahead and show you why. So let's go ahead and create a quick sprite um, here. And I'll just name it like um, uh, random here. All right. And let's go ahead and go at sprite and 32 by 32. And I'll just make something really random here. Uh, no, it's not what I want. Uh, I'll go ahead and make a purple thing with a cool looking gradient. Um, yes. All right. And that looks cool. Wait, no. There we go. All right. And then I'll just make it uh, really quick. Um, just, uh, what should I do? Um, okay. I'll make a black outline here. And... What the crap? Okay. Okay, whatever. Screw the uh, black outline. Let's go ahead and go to uh, uh, just glow. And there we go. Make a cool glow. And there we go. All right, so there's our cool little spray there. Not really. Um, let's go ahead and hit the uh, exc or not exclamation mark, the little OK sign. All right, now let's go ahead and hit this OK. All right, so we have this little sprite here, and let's go ahead and make it just a quick object out of it as well. Um, let's name it uh, just random. Don't bother with the OBJ. All right, random. There we go. And uh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and just really make uh, really quick make a quick background again, random. All right, and let's go ahead and just make this purple for the sake of awesome purpleness. Uh, let's go ahead and um, get a timeline going here. Call it random. Add. Do, and let's go, uh, I don't know, three. And I'm just doing really random stuff here if you have not noticed. All right. And there we go. And I think that's enough for now. Um, yeah, okay. So basically, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and export this um, as a resource. And basically what we're doing here is um, we're exporting uh, basically basically our game and everything, all the contents in our game, and we're creating it into a resource. And basically what that is, is um, it's basically like a game file, but it's a resource. So basically um, it's it can be, uh, it's, it's basically being made so it can export back into whatever game you're using um, for GameMaker. So let me go ahead and give you a good example of that here. Let's go ahead and name this uh, random here. And let's go ahead and hit save on that. And here we go. This is really cool. Um, actually, let's go bring that back down there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. So basically, um, basically this is the uh, resources to export. So it's asking you uh, what you want to export. So basically, out of everything we've created, what do we want to export as a resource file? Um, do we want uh, basically all the sprites in our game and all, all basically the sounds? And you can uh, check mark and uncheck mark what you want, what you don't want, or select none, select all. And uh, I'll just keep it select all for now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. All right, so basically what we've just, uh, just done is exported all of, of this that we've created in our game um, into a resource file. And let's go ahead and hit a new game here. And no, we don't want to save changes. Um, all right, let's go ahead and change sprite and edit sprite. And no, uh, saving it as a resource is not necessarily saving it as a file. So you can't. I don't believe you can open it back up again and start editing it. Um, it's basically just a resource. 
Alright, so let me go ahead and just make some random things here. There we go. Alright, so let's say we're working on a game here and we have this sprite, but we wanted some other sprites that we've created in that random game. Let's say we actually saved that random game, and uh, which I didn't, but let's say we did. And um, we wanted those sprites that we've created in a random game um, in here. Alright, and uh, just the sprites, not the other stuff, just the sprites. Okay, so the, since there's no merge game option, our option rather, what do we do? We go to File, and we go to Import Resources. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and choose our um, random uh, resource there. Open. And again, we get this little uh, this, this little pop-up box here. Alright, so what we're going to do is, since we just want the sprites, we're going to select none, and just so it's easier, and select what we want. So we just want the sprites. Okay, and basically keep last changed uh, basically means how it was last changed. Or we could keep original, which you, you can mess around with that stuff. All right, and let's go ahead and, oh, also really quick, uh, place new resources in new group. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to create kind of like a folder uh, for showing that it was what game was in, that you have not created it for this game that you're using. Okay, let's go ahead and hit OK on that. And there we go, we have our little random folder here. Uh, showing that this sprite right here was from our random game and we imported it in our, our uh, current game. So, as you can see, it's a fully editable sprite and everything. We can do whatever we want uh, or want to do it. Random. Okay. And uh, there we go. And yeah, that is basically how to do that. Um, you could do this for, you know, objects and a whole bunch of different stuff. It really comes in handy. So, uh, yeah, this has just been a quick tutorial by Rex, for, uh, Rex Furry. I was going to say Rex, uh, Rex 95 there. Um, but, yeah, by Rex Furry, f uh, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe for upcoming content and all that stuff. Um, I apologize for the shortness of this tutorial, but, you know, I really didn't want it to be too long because this is a fairly short thing. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and it helps you a lot. So, yeah, uh, I guess with that, I will see you guys next tutorial. All right, guys, see you later, and have a great day.